Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the Chaos Game. So the Chaos Game shows that from seemingly complete randomness you can actually create a pattern. So, so as you can see I've drawn a triangle here on, on the sheet of paper. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick a point randomly on the triangle. So say I'll pick my point there. So that will be my first point. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, I've got one or two, three or four, or five or six. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to get a dice, and when I roll one or two, I'm going to move halfway to this point, so it will be about there. When I get three or four, I'm going to move halfway to this point, so it will be about there. And if I get five or six, I'm going to move halfway to this point. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do this now. So I'm going to roll the dice, and I'm, I got six. So now I'm going to get my ruler, and so this is 14 centimeters. So half of 14 centimeters is seven centimeters. So point two will be here. So now I'm going to roll the dice again, and now I got one. So now I'm going to go halfway to that point, and. I'm going to do this from the second point, so from this point again. So this is 14 and a half, so that will be 7 and a half, so it will be about there. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this a little bit now, because um, it's going to take a very long time. That took a long time. So as you can see, um, after a long time, the pattern is sort of started to form. And um, I've actually been doing this for an hour and a half. And I can also do this for another two or three hours, but I'm not going to. Um, but so as you can see, the pattern is sort of starting to form. Because what you can see is like there are nearly no no um, dots in the middle in the middle area, and sort of on the sides here. And now. I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to show you what the pattern is actually going to look like in your final. So the pattern will be this pattern, this is the Sierpinski triangle. So what is, what is the reason why they don't come back in these areas? Well I'm going to explain that to you now. Because um, as you can see this was my first point. This one was in the middle one. My second point is here but as you can see it's in the exact same position but in a triangle smaller, a, tri a triangle size smaller. So that's one iteration of the Sierpinski triangle further. Um, so, but it's in the exact same position. Um, so basically what happens is it doesn't matter in which direction you go to, you will always end up in the same position, one triangle smaller. So as you can see, it, the randomness factor doesn't really have anything to do with it. Because if I go this way, the exact same thing is going to happen. Because as you can see, I'm going to get um, 
11 centimeters. 11 centimeters divided by 2 is 5 and a half, and it will, I will end up there. And that is, again, in the same position in this triangle. And the same is with this one. The same is with this one. If I divide 10 by 2, I get 5, and I'm going to end up in the exact same position. So, um, so that shows that the random perspective doesn't really have to, anything to do with it. But, as I, every time I get one triangle smaller, it means that finally I will get to the really small triangles, as you can see with all the other dots. I'm going to get into really small triangles, and eventually I'm going to get into millimeters, nanometers and stuff, and I'm going to write really small, and that's the reason why I don't return in those areas. And when I get into um, those, they will, all, they will all be like close to the lines and stuff, so you won't see the other ones anymore. Also, um, I start inside the triangle, but you can also actually start outside the triangle. And in fact, you can also start on the other side of the universe, in theory. Um, so, say um, I start here. Um, say I get one or two, I'm going to move halfway to this point. If I get five or six, I'm going to move halfway to this point, I'll be there. But the only thing I'm going to do is move closer to the triangle. And then, once I get three or four, I'll be inside the triangle. Um, so, say I start on the other side of the Earth, 20,000 kilometers. If I keep dividing that by two, um, it will only take me 30 times until I'm actually inside the triangle. Um, so, how you can also see this is, you can see this as um, an iteration smaller. So, this is one of these. So, and then you can imagine this as being the middle section. And then you have two more of these triangles here. Um, so this is a very good game um, for um, a class activity and say you get overhead projector sheets and you let everyone do like 20 or 50 iterations and you put them all on top of each other and you get um, a really nice pattern. Thank you for watching.